Tell me about Conversations with Spirits. Okay, it's a uh, kind of comedy mystery story uh, set at the end of the Great War. Uh, and it's uh, about a man called Trelawney Hart, who had a very peculiar kind of upbringing where his parents kind of force fed him a kind of diet of logic and uh, mathematics. And he became quite brilliant as a child, uh, but then kind of had a nervous breakdown and is now resigned at the point the book opens to he's living in uh, a gentleman's club in Pall Mall called the Hyperborea Club and this sort of boozy lifestyle that he's kind of eking out is uh, interrupted when uh, Arthur Conan Doyle, uh, the creator of Sherlock Holmes, uh, appears at his door working for the, the Society of Psychical Research and uh, employs him to go down to Broadstairs in Kent to uh, look at uh, the psychic medium called J.P. Besant, uh, who's doing strange and wonderful things. I awoke in the shadow of Sibella, the crumpled blackness of her crinoline dress hovering lightly before me. Laid out on the floor, curled up like one of last year's blue bottles in a shop window, my eyes narrowed. The rows of electric lights crossing the ceiling were an unreasonable irritation. Turning my head from them, I was alarmed to see one of Sibella's boots drumming impatiently on the floor, inches from my face. Is something amiss? Get up. Lurching forward, I saw at once that I had fallen asleep in the reading room of my club. I must have been a piteous sight, a hearthrug wrapped about my flank and an upended bottle of brandy nestled in my armpit. What? What is it? Sibella waited to respond, <laughs> helpless amidst the wretched volley of coughs that succeeded my words. So some people may not know um, that Conan Doyle, for all of his greatness with the, uh, the Sherlock Holmes stories, he, he went slightly doolally towards the end of his life. He did, and that's why the book is set in 1917, because that's the year he kind of proved fairies exist in some very famous photographs. Yes, and so Trelawney Hart sort of plays, he, he's sort of a Holmes character in a sense of the, the sort of genius uh, there's obviously kind of a, a parallel there that I think you've, you've obviously got on purpose with Conan Doyle. Um, but he's sort of a much more dishevelled, much more shambolic yeah, he's a, version. They're both kind of damaged characters, <laughs> I suppose, would be you know, the way to describe that. Doyle's man sent a cablegram. He's coming here. Who? Arthur Doyle. What? Why? Whatever for? He wants to talk to you. Don't allow him in, for pity's sake. Please, tell him I'm not here. Trelawney, I've already replied and said you'll see him. It might do you some good. You started writing the book um, about two years ago. Yes. Uh, and you hadn't shared it too widely until last I September. Haven't, I haven't shared it at all. Um, I haven't shared it at all. No. Wow. And last September you put it up on Jotify. Uh, I did. I was writing a very silly uh, website about uh, a psychic at the time. As I was doing that, one of the things it said, do you want to join Twitter? It was whilst I was on Twitter that I uh, saw a tweet from Stephen Fry and uh, he was talking about this website called Jotify and uh, so I decided to put the first, I think it was five chapters yes. of the book up and yeah. And it was decidedly popular. We made it editor's choice for a week and, uh, and I thought that was partly what was driving it. I mean on the first day I noticed on the stats after the Stephen Fry tweet in the aftermath of Fry um, we had this one work that was sort of much more popular than anything else on the, on the site and I started reading it, thought it was really good so I, uh, I made it this choice and then it carried on being very popular and then we made something else at this choice and it carried on being the most popular thing almost every day for about three months. Yes. So uh, it's uh, <laughs> quite nice. Phenomenally successful, yes. And then of course you got discovered by Unbound in, uh, in about November time, I think was when they first, first became aware of it. Uh -huh. and, um, and here we are. It can't be healthy just sitting around here on your own every day. The frou-frou of Sibella's skirts swirled as she turned and crossed the room to the window. Pointedly, she threw back the heavy curtains, but this action was undermined since the light in the room scarcely changed. The smoke from the London manufactories had been choking the city since the early morning and suffused the sky with a gloomy yellow wash. You've got 20 minutes. I'm Jack and I'm the founder of uh, Jotify, which is the platform through which Edward's book Conversations with Spirits has been discovered. Um, Jotify is a platform for writers to share and sell 
uh, anything that they've written. Um, in Edward's case, it was just a few chapters of his novel, but we've got screenplays and poetry on there as well. Um, and the idea of the site is just to get feedback from other, from other readers. Um, and obviously, you can sell things if they're finished, if you want people to buy them and, uh, for the iPad and Kindle and other devices like that. Um, I'm bound to the first publishers that we're having on the site actually discovering writers. They found uh, Edward's book, and they're looking to publish a few of the other books uh, that we have on the site. Um, so it's very exciting. Uh, if you are interested in writing and you want to get some feedback and you want to start getting the word out, then uh, feel free to go to jotify.com. If you'd like to support Conversations with Spirits, please come to my page on unbound.co.uk and pledge. Staggering to my feet, a sudden wave of dizziness rushed through me and I was forced to grab hold of a nearby chair in order to support myself. The hearth rug dropped down, becoming entangled around one of my boots. By the time I had kicked it from under me and dragged myself the ten feet to the bar, I was in a lather of cold sweats from the exertion. I have heard people refer to alcohol as a slow poison, but in my own case, I am utterly without life force before my morning pick-me-ups. A drink, alright? better make it a strong one. I have a mouth as dry as a shavian epigram. 